Well, the dawn of a new year means we're taking a new look at ourselves. Maybe you've resolved to live healthier in 2012 or feel better. Well, you aren't alone in your quest. Researchers are constantly looking to increase the quality of your life. So all this week, a special series on chasing cures, starting with new breakthroughs about aging. Here's Kelly Crow. Aging, an inevitable part of the human experience. Or is it? Earl Fee is 82, but his friends say he doesn't look a day over 65. I think I'm excelling because I'm, I'm slowing, I'm aging slower than other people. Is Earl on to something? It's a question many are asking. Could science one day cure aging altogether? Some say yes. But what we can in principle do is develop medicines that we can apply periodically to repair the damage of aging every so often so that it never reaches a level of severity that causes sickness and disease and disability in old age. The theory, treat the human body like a machine, keep it well maintained and replace the parts that wear out. Aging is essentially a side effect of living. Some cells die and can't be replaced in the brain or the heart. Some parts become clogged with junk, arteries and joints. And some parts develop defects. At this research center in California, the goal is to tackle each one of those problems one by one. There really should be absolutely no limit to how long we can keep people going. Researchers here are studying how to use bacterial enzymes to clean up cellular garbage that accumulates in the body. Other ideas, using stem cells to regrow worn out parts and gene therapies to protect DNA from mutations. The bad news, not a single one of those treatments is available now. At age 48, DeGray thinks there's a 50-50 chance some of the therapies will be ready in time to help extend his life. I'm not really doing it for myself. I'm doing it for purely humanitarian reasons. 100,000 people die every single day from old age and the, and the symptoms of old age. And I want to fix that problem. Guess which of these mice is older? This one, hunched and stiff and losing its hair? Or this one, shiny and energetic? In fact, they are exactly the same age. The only difference, the young-looking mouse was fed a daily supplement with ingredients from a local health yeah. food store. It's just one of the remarkable anti-aging effects researchers are discovering in this lab at McMaster University. We're never expecting to see that the stuff would cross the digestive system, the blood-brain barrier, go into the mitochondria and, and basically prevent mitochondrial aging. Who would have thought that you could do that with uh, stuff from the local uh, health food store? There are 31 ingredients, each targeting five major things that happen to the body as it ages. The mice who eat the daily supplement live longer, suffer less physical decline, and even get smarter as they age. How can you test brain function in a mouse? One way, this swim test, to see if the mouse can remember where the platform is. The supplemented mice found the platform faster, a sign that their brains resisted the declines of age. The results were so profound we couldn't believe it. Earl Fee is working on his own cure for aging. He eats a healthy diet, he takes 13 different vitamins and supplements, and he gets lots of exercise. I definitely have a goal to live to 100. And, and, and now that I've been thinking about it and talking to other people, some believe that they, they could live to 120. And so now I'm sort of thinking that 100 might be a lower limit. Even if they can't add years to human life, most researchers believe it's possible to at least slow down the clock. Kelly Crow, CBC News, Toronto.